But here we are, the antenna's on the moon at this point. This is K6MYC, uh, probably calling me uh, as opposed to somebody else, but we've not decoded him yet. Now, I'm going to go to the other screen, and you can see his sync signal, but it's not decoding, and he is presently a minus. 26, the one before was a minus 22, so it should decode. Uh, if you want to look at the other QSO with uh, Lance, I'll bring it up here, and here's the entire QSO. There's where he called us and his grid. He called twice, and then I sent him the proper message, and then he sent the RO. I sent him the proper message. He sent the 73. Then he sent many thanks. Good night. I'm going to go back down. And that pound sign indicates there's some data there, but we don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is, but I can't print it. Ah, okay, he's coming up now. And for those who don't know that much about it. I've got the tolerance frozen at 50, which means that if there's anybody else out here, left or right, it won't copy them. It eliminates all the QR Mary. And Joe Taylor, if that's not right, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> okay, let's see what that decode says. There he is. Got him. I've just changed to TX2, which is his call, our call, our grid, and 000, as opposed to 000. Now, when he comes back, since we're using shorthand, or, no, that's gone wrong mode. Scratch that. His sync signal will be right here underneath this green line, which is where this is. But his answer will be right under that red line right there. He will send RO. I have received your O. Now this, these lines represent time. This is when I stopped transmitting. This is uh, two and a half seconds later. Now when he shows up, it'll be two and a half seconds after that. He'll be right here. Okay, he did not copy our OOO. And what this is going to be is exactly what we just saw before. It'll be... K5N, K6MYC. Uh, things are picking up. Much better signal now than when we started. And he did not copy me yet. Still don't have a decode? Oh yeah, I got the decode, on average. This one will decode in uh, non-average. Yep. There it is. Yeah, we think he can see us, but we may be getting the moon may be getting too low. For us? Yeah. When your antenna's way down low like this, it throws your pattern up high. So you see how he's going down? Okay. He's getting worse. I did not know that. All we got to get out of him is RRR. That's right. You don't have to have 73. That's right. right. Okay, here's the sync signal that, that we get on every yes. uh, thing. Now, this is what uh, is commonly called a railroad track. But see these red lines right here? 
this represents the uh, uh, RO and this represents this represents RO this represents RRR and this represents 73 so he's sending RRR and we will then send 73 all right, we're going to see Look, the key card. I'm not going to add a message to it because that, apparently he's not copying that well. But then again, why not? His best was minus 19. Uh, too late. Minus 19. I think I can click this and it'll change it. It will. Yep, it did. That'll mess him up. I changed it twice during the same transmission. <laughs> yeah. I, I get reluctant to put messages in when they're weak. I changed my uh, TX5 message twice during my transmission, which really probably messed him up. So he is sending TX4, the RRR, again. So what I'm going to do is uh, you got go, back, go back and change, change it to a straight 73. So he'll get the red line right there when he starts receiving. That changes to a straight 73. See, he sent the R's again. <laughs> Which is not unusual when the operator like me messes up. Well, you know, what do you get, minus 23? That one was, yeah, the one before was minus 19. So, like you said, the moon's getting a scotchy bit low for us. Yeah. If we had our antenna at 100 feet, <laughs> it wouldn't. Well, well, what happens is, whenever your antenna's low down, it pitches up your, uh, it, it your pattern. I see. And the reason Here's the sync signal again. Here's the uh, 73. 73 from him. So that is a good QSO. And we'll be seeing a decode in, in how long? Short, uh, uh, half a minute. And, and half a minute. Half right. a minute, okay. And then you can log it like he wants us to do. I'm not sure what you can log we'll, it right now. Yeah, but you, you won't get the log. Well, that's true. All right, we're looking for the 73 to come up on that screen, right correct? Right there, yeah. It, it will. It, it, no doubt. There yeah, it is. Now, now log two, so. Okay. Okay, now what well, I'm... Go up to the top say yes. Oh, thanks. I was looking down. All right, there we are at uh, okay. 73 and minus 23. Right. Now, let me uh, add... Minus 19. Uh, minus 19. What are you doing? I'm sending him, I'm sending him a message on the next transmission. That'll say 73 is minus 19. I see. Okay. Um. Thanks. Right. And TNX for thanks. Yeah. That'll be the next transmission. But the moon is dropping, yeah. so it's falling out of our load. Okay. You can see how much weaker he is this time. And on this end, we're using a uh, 6M5X. Uh, we're EL58, uh, Burwood Island, uh, Southwest Pass, Louisiana. Rare grid EL58. First ever EME contact from EL58. With who? Second. Second with, contact. With who? K6MYC. K6MYC. This is actually our second contact. And Al, who was our first contact? Lance, W7GJ. He's in Montana. Okay, well that's it for EME this evening. Two contacts, EME from EL58.